Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Yasir from WP Hano and in today's video we are going to see how to get a free domain name for your website for unlimited time. Yes, a free domain name for unlimited time with zero cost and you can use this domain name with any of your website whether it is a WordPress website or a static website or built with any other platform. For registering the free domain name, we will use our domain name registrar called Freenome as it provides free domain names. But keep in mind that you cannot get domain names with extensions like .com, .org, .net or other commonly used extensions for free from anywhere over the internet. The exceptions are some web hosting providers that provides domain names with these extensions for free. But for that you have to buy a certain product or a hosting package from them. And even then they will provide these domain names for free for a limited time period and once that time has passed you would have to pay for the domain name. On the other hand Freenome provides the free domain names with extensions like .tk, .ca, .ca and some others that we will see in this video ahead. And should you use a free domain name for your website or not? We will talk about it at the end of the video so keep watching this video till end. Now before we start please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification button so that you get notified every time we publish new tutorials. So now let's get started. First of all let's go to freenom.com and in this field type the domain name that you want to get let's say WP Hono and click on this check availability button here. And here you can see that this domain name is available for free with domain extensions like .tk, .ml, .ca, .cf and .gq. And if you scroll down you can see that this domain name is also available with other extensions like .com, .net, .org etc. But domain names with these extensions are not free and you will have to pay a price for these. But for now as we want free domain name so we can select any domain name from here. In fact you can select multiple domain names but for now we will get only one domain name let's say this one wphono.tk To get it click on this get it now button here Now this domain name has been added to our cart so let's go to cart by clicking this link here And here you can see that this domain name has been added to our cart and here Freenome is giving some options to configure for our domain name like URL forwarding or manage DNS entries for our domain name. But for now we don't want to configure these so we will leave them as it is. And here you can select the time period for which you want the free domain. If you click on this drop down button here you can see that we can get this domain for free for 12 months and if we want it for more than 12 months then we will have to pay a price. But if you remember at the start of the video I have said that you can get this domain for unlimited time so how you can get it for unlimited time. First of all you would have to get this domain name for free for 12 months and then after 12 months when it is going to expire you can renew it for the next 12 months and you can repeat this process again and again for as many times as you want. So select 12 months for free from here and then click on this continue button. And you can see that after pressing this continue button nothing has happened. The reason is that once you click on these options to explore them, Freenome wants you to configure them. Let me show you. Here you can see that we are getting these errors because we have not filled these fields. Now the way around to this is just to refresh this page for once. So let me quickly refresh this page. After the page refresh without clicking any of these options click on continue button again. And now you can see that we have redirected to our checkout page and this is our domain name and we are getting this domain name for zero dollars which means absolutely free. Now to complete the checkout process we will need to have an account on Freenome. For that you can use your email address or you can use any of your social login like Gmail or Facebook. For now I am going to use Gmail social login so I will click on sign in button here. From here I will select the account that I want to attach to Freenome. Now my Gmail account has been attached to Freenome but for that I have to verify my email account. So I will quickly go to my Gmail account that I have attached with Freenome. 
and here you can see that we have got an email from Freenom for verification so I will open it by clicking it and then I will click the verification button that is in this mail now Freenom will ask for your some information so your account creation process can be successful so quickly enter your details here and after completing all the information click on complete order button here apparently i have got an error so let me see if the process of registration has been completed or not so i will refresh this page to confirm that for now i am not able to access this page so i will go to the home page of freenom and will log in again into my account using the gmail account that i have just attached with freenom from here i will click on sign in with google and I will select the account that I have attached with Freenome. And now here you can see that Freenome is showing us a welcome message. So that means our account has been created. Now let's see if our domain name has been registered or not. For that click on the services button here and under it click on my domains. And here you can see that our domain name has been registered successfully and here you can see its registration date and here you can see its expiry date status active means that you can use this domain right away and here Freenome is giving us option to manage our domain name and here let me quickly show you an option that you will use most of the time to connect your domain name with your website so for that click on this manage domain button here and on this page under management tool click on name servers and from here select custom name servers here you can configure the name servers to connect this domain name to a website that is hosted on some other web hosting basically a name server is something that connects a domain name with the website so in order to connect your domain name with the website you will need the name servers of the web hosting where your website is hosted how you can do that i will create a dedicated video on that too and if you don't want to miss that please consider subscribing to our youtube channel now i will also put a link in the video description below once the video is uploaded now the question is whether you should use free domain name for your website or not the answer is both yes and no the answer is yes if you just want to use the free domain name for practicing purposes and want to learn how the domain works or you can use it for a very small scale website but if you want to run a website like e-commerce or want to have a professional business website then free domain names are a big no. Why? The reason is that when you use free domain names you are just a user of that domain name and the domain registrar can cancel the domain anytime without any clear reasons. And once your domain name is gone you would have to start from the beginning in terms of SEO. Now our suggestion is that you should buy a domain name whenever you want to have a professional website. A standard domain name costs between $8 to $15 per year and you can see that this is not a very big amount and you should consider buying a domain name for your website. We recommend you to check out the links that are given in the video description below. These links can get you a discount on domain names, web hosting packages and some other products as well. And if you buy from these links, we will get a small commission without having you to pay any extra amount. We hope you find this video useful and informative. And if you really do, please hit the like button and let us know about it in the comment section below. For more video tutorials related to WordPress and web hosting, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon notification so that you can get notified every time we publish new content. Thanks for watching.